What is up, everybody? So this is Semi Pro Squirrel Hunter. My name is Jacob Herman, and I am here at our uh, borrowed range today to do a couple of reviews for you guys. Um, the first time using the tripod, right? So if I get in or out of frame, y'all got to just kind of bear with me here. Uh, got my Cryptex shirt on, right? You guys know it's hotter than hell in Tennessee, and so we've got this this shirt. I really like it. It's available at Cryptech. There's a discount code on Instagram. So today. Right, it was a special day. We've got a new gun to review for you guys, and it is for shooting if you got into some kind of mutant squirrel and or you got in a tangle with some like dope cookers in the woods if you was out squirrel hunting. So I'm gonna show you this gun. It's really cool. I'm gonna go get it. Nice. Look at there. So uh, if you guys, some of you guys might remember this logo, right? It is gonna be exciting. What's in the box? Uh, also, my music was a playing over here, so if uh, you didn't you didn't hear that I uh I'm wearing this Academy hat today I we're not sponsored or anything by Academy I just really like the way it looks so this my friends is does it have a label on the end no so this is the Blackwater Sentry 12 shotgun so uh yo, look at that nice uh, I'm trying to do all the things by moving that some people use a cameraman for. So we've got a manual, right? So we'll put that there, and some some phone. We don't we don't need that shit. And it says true commitment. Look at this bad boy. Uh, it's upside down, but it says true commitment takes no easy way out. Uh, but this is a beast, boy. So uh, I'm gonna whip this bad boy out right here. As you can probably figure, I got a table right here. So. Uh, the Blackwater Century 12. This thing is awesome. They, uh, I got to play with it a couple of weeks ago, and uh, it's a pump, and it's all made in the USA. But let me grab a magazine. So it's a mag-fed pump, right? This bad boy goes in right there, and uh, this one holds five rounds, which is a lot of buckshot, right? Five rounds, a lot of buckshot, and they're coming out. They said they've got an eight-round extendo coming. So one of the cool things about this gun is uh, besides it just looks just gnarly, right, uh, is the way it breaks down. It breaks down really easy. It's got like AR style trigger. Kind of looks like a MP5 grip, doesn't it, on like a G36 or something. But uh, so we got a safety, right? And then, and before you safety police get to whining, I just took this out of the box and looked in the chamber. So here is the, let's see here. What is that? I'm still learning. Here's the mag release, right? So this must be the bolt release. Well, up, down. I don't know how to use it. Maybe I should have read the manual. Hmm. Oh. I just wasn't pumping it hard enough. I'm an idiot. So I don't really, I don't dig a lot of pump shotguns. Uh, you guys that have followed me know, like, I like shooting my, now Allie, Speak at you like shooting with a pump, uh, Ithaca 37, it's about 50 years old. But uh, I'm a semi-auto guy or side-by-side -side guy. So if you guys remember the first filming we did last year, we used that uh, old Savage 311 side-by-side -side shotgun. But this thing, if for a home defense shotgun, this is a beast, boy. I mean, 12 gauge cylinder bore. Uh, it's got a polymer. This is polymer. The lower is polymer. This is a one-piece monolithic aluminum upper, a receiver upper, whatever. I don't really know what the terminology is on shotguns, but it's got a really, really smooth trigger. And the cool thing about this is, right, this shotgun, when you, like, when you pick up, like, a another brand, right? I don't want to talk crap about nobody else's shotguns, but you guys know, like, you got one in the closet, and you go to pump it, and it's like dragging... Like you ever like been drug across gravel, like like when you was a kid, like you got behind a go-kart and somebody drug you across the, the parking lot. That's what that feels like. This pump action right here is as smooth as glass. I mean, it is smooth as baby's behind. Um, what else is smooth? Al shit's not smooth. But like if you were to take 
uh, a good piece of nice concrete and then you grease it up and try to slide across it, that's what this is like. Um, so this is awesome. It's a Century 12 by Blackwater. We're going to pull this bad boy apart. I'm going to show you how it comes together. Uh, this MSRP is at $8.99. They told me it's all made in the United States of America, right? So that is badass. It's made in the USA, and we don't have anything built overseas, and we're supporting Americans. So in the pickup truck from earlier squirrel season, I've got, being a semi-pro squirrel hunter, some Remington, uh, number six, rabbit and squirrel loads. And, of course, this is obviously short brass. We've got... Let me sit in my pouch here. My SOE fanny pouch. We've got a, huh, huh, I'll be back. I've got some more cartridges. So we're gonna load that bad boy up, we're gonna shoot it. We're gonna see uh, how it breaks apart and uh, hopefully you guys will like this video. All right, so we're gonna also use some Remington clay and field. Apparently got a lot of Remington ammo. Uh, 12 gauge, two and three quarter number eight shot. Uh, I've got like very low brass, right? Like, like you guys want to talk about short. That bad boy is even shorter than what I consider low brass. So a lot of times when you get a shotgun, uh, especially a defensive shotgun, it does not run well on low brass. It, they were made for high brass, like, like buckshot loads, right? So uh, this is about as low as I've ever seen one, and that's the Remington Clay and Field. And uh, that's number eight shot. This is uh, some buckshot. I bought seven ninety five a box. Boy, it's not that cheap anymore. And this is Nobel Sport. So that's some good shit from overseas, made in Italy. So it's Italian. So this is like the the uh, it'd be like the Gucci of shotgun shells. So that shit better be good. Uh, let's see what we got here. High brass, right? That's nice. So if you compare right compare this to this and that's what goes in the chamber and feeds that part right there so all right now we have some federal i shoot a lot of federal ammo i like federal some federal premium buckshot and this is a 12 inch two and three quarter buckshot no this is not double lot this is one buck number one buckshot so if you see there's a chart on the side that's lot number one. Wait, that's double lot buck, which a lot of people shoot, and that's number one. I don't think it's gonna matter a lot, but let's see how the brass looks on this. Now, that looks good. Are they the same? Yeah, if you can tell there, the, uh, the Federal's got a little longer brass even than the rest of them. So we've got three or four brands of shotgun shells that some of them I brought intentionally and some of them I pulled out of the pickup truck. You know we always keep plenty of shotgun, 22 shells in the pickup truck in case we ever run across a, just, a, just a horde of squirrels. I don't know what you call a pack of squirrels. I guess it's a pack. But we're going to load this bad boy up. We're going to shoot it and we're going to see what it does. Alrighty. We are going to shoot the Century 12. I got another camera set up behind me, right? Uh, to capture it. It's, God, it's hotter than a whore in church out here. All right, first mag is gonna be the rabbit and squirrel uh, Remington number whatever shot with like the, oh, that's not that, what is that? That's some federal game load, that'll work. We'll shove that shit in there too. Sometimes, oh, what is that? Number five shot. That's got a long piece of brass on it. I'm shoot, that looks so dubious quality right there. Has everybody got their ears on? Da, 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 da. I think that's five. Okay, we gotta put our eyes or ears on. The mullet is glorious. I put the Spark AR optic on there from our good friends, like the deer hunters say, our good friends at Vortex. And uh, when you guys hear that, that means they, they got it for free. Are good friends. That means free. Isn't that right, Chris? Yep. I don't even think mine's got batteries in them. All right, fuck it. Oh, I didn't mount it on the other side. Shit. I just mounted the plate on it. 
What a bunch of redneck bullshit. I have such a hard time with this shit. Alright. Okay, now it's on. Alright, like I said, the reason we're using the Spark AR is because it's higher up and this has got a straight stock on it. And uh, I didn't want to like jam my head down on the stock that far. We've got a rifle expert here. He's going to participate in the 22 shooting, though. Also dropped the, the damn key here thing. Okay. Awesome. Nice. That's actually generally right. Okay. First shot's out of the Blackwater Sentry 12. Uh, we've got a steel target. We've got a camera point at the steel target. I've got my Euro Pro on. Also have my pretty gnarly uh, EDM sunglasses. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna shoot this bad boy and see what happens. Damn. Uh. That's awesome. It's angry. It's a lot of smoke. Did you see it? Rolling, burning all that stuff out of there. So that was the low brass. Now we're gonna do the the Remington extra low brass. Have you seen this crap? It's got like a five millimeter. Huh? <laughs> Can you get it any shorter? Remington American Clay. I got, I'd say it probably worked great out of a side by side or an over under. American Clay and Field. That's five. So. Oh, did I not? Oh. That's awesome. You gonna shoot it? Yeah. You want buck shot or regular shot? Let me let me fill the heavy stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the, the heavy. The heavy. Just to see. This is uh Nobel buck shot. So it's like Italian buck shot. Chris Barrett's gonna do the honors of running the buck shot through here. I think that's five. Here. Let me get the camera down a little bit. All I'm getting is the top of your head. <laughs> You're gonna put it down normal height. Not not Shrek height. Look at that. Boom. Nice. That's awesome. It's angry. What do you think? I really like it. First shots. First time either one of us have shot this. I thought it was going to recoil worse. Say what? Straight. I thought it was going to have heavier felt recoil with the uh, straight stock, but it doesn't. I like the position of that optic. I like, too, how easy it is to um, roll the gun and see in the breech. So if you was in the woods and you encountered a flock of mutant squirrels or dope cookers, would that be an appropriate shotgun? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> So that's the first shots out of the the Blackwater Century 12. It retails $8.99. It's going to be available at your dealer uh, sometime soon. Uh, probably the next, like by the time that my guy gets his video made. Are you We're going to make squirrel brains.